Hey guys, welcome back to Mishmiss. Today we're gonna to be playing with some brand new makeup from La Bouche Rouge. I didn't even realize that they had come out with this stuff and I don't know, I guess I was just surfing the web and I came across it. Anyway, it looked really, really interesting and if you guys are unaware of uh, La Bouche Rouge, they came out with a whole lipstick line probably a couple years ago and um, their, their lipsticks are like refillable. They come in these like beautiful leather cases. Actually, let me pull one out to show you. So here's what their lipstick cases look like and they're refillable. So this was like their first release. I had come across these at Barney's, <laughs> rest in peace. I feel like I keep saying that in my videos, but I came across these at Barney's, the Barney's in New York. They even uh, could engrave like initials into the case for you. So I picked up a whole bunch. And so now they've come out with some new things. So I've picked up their bronzer, their highlighter, and two of their eyeshadow quads, and they've even come out with some new brushes. So uh, let's unpack all of this. When you purchase their things, and I purchased all of their things off of their actual site, and so um, it was delivered internationally. It took a little bit, but not too bad. It probably took about a little over a week to get to me. Not bad considering it's the holidays, not bad considering it's coming from France, um, but since all of their things are refillable, when you order them, you have the option to buy, you know, just the pan, like just the bronzer, or the compact uh, that it comes in, uh, both. So there's options, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There's options for you to purchase uh, these products on their site. The boxes that everything comes in looks like this, and let me just slide it out here. And this is one of the eyeshadow quads that I purchased. So you'll notice that it's just the pan and I can just pop that out here. Uh, so let me show you the case. So I bought um, cases for all of these things to go in. You have like a lot of different like leather options and they're really, really heavy. I haven't even opened these up yet, but I could tell which was the case and which was the actual product because the product is really light. The case is really, really heavy and it comes in similar style box and there is a card on top. And so each case comes in like a leather, almost looks like a like a business card case. And then what you put your product in is inside. So what you're selecting is like the color of this outside case. So this card is in French, but I see the words 100% recyclable. So I believe all of their packaging is 100% recyclable. They don't use any plastics in anything. So this black one is actually a vegan, like faux leather case. And then I picked up one called Chocolat, but it actually looks a little bit more like ox blood. Yeah, it has like a little bit of red in there, which I think is really gorgeous. And then I picked up two <laughs> of the camel color cases. This is probably my favorite, at least from what I could tell on the site. Um, so I did pick up four products. Like I said, I picked up two of these quads, two different ones, a bronzer and a highlight. So I did want a case for each of them. And since I ordered the products like which with the case, I actually can't remember how I wanted to pair them. I think what I did was I wanted to put this one in the black case. So I'm gonna pop this one out right now. So if you do order these, be careful. I would just take this paper frame out and then take your product out because I tried pulling the pan out from the top and the whole paper frame kind of came out and kind of dinged my eyeshadow. So just be careful. Now I'm gonna take the the actual case out of the leather envelope. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is like all metal and it's like glossy white finish. And I don't think, I don't think it's magnetized. I think it just like closes. And then, is that a mirror? I can't tell if that's a, I don't think this is a mirror. I think this is just really, really uh, smoothly finished metal. Oh, neat, yeah, that's not a mirror. That's just like, you'll get a reflection, but it's just um, metal. Oh, how interesting. I guess that makes sense. I don't know that mirrors are recyclable. Anyway, let me go ahead and just plop this right in. And that portion of the compact is magnetized and then there is a hole in the back for you to pop it out. So that was really easy, nothing <laughs> nothing terribly complicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of them. So this is the other eyeshadow quad that I got, and I believe I got the camel case for this. I think I got the Chocolat for the bronzer. I thought that that would be like a good <laughs> sort of indication for bronzer. 
Um, so let me put this one in the camel. Not that it makes that big of a difference because you're just sort of slipping the actual compact in and out of the envelope. And then here is the highlight and here is the bronzer. And then they also came out with some new brushes. So I picked up, everything's in French, so I'm just gonna call this the powder brush. I'm definitely gonna use this for the bronzer. So this is what their brushes look like. So they look like the Shakuta brushes, and I picked up a couple of the Shakuta brushes when I was in Japan. I have one sitting here. So this is the eyeshadow brush from Shakuta. So it's the same idea where it has no separate ferrule. It's just all wood, one wood piece. I know these are um, vegan synthetic hairs, and there is engraving on the handle there. It says La Bouche Rouge, and it has their logo at the top there. So I've got foundation, concealer, and powder down. So what I'm gonna do is start with the La Bouche Rouge bronzer. And again, everything is <laughs> everything is in French. I'm gonna try and link it down below. I think there are some retailers here in the US carrying it. Anyway, I'll link to everything down below at my description box and like have the names written out. Uh, but this is the bronzer and I do think they had a few shades available. So I'm gonna use my new brush. This brush is actually uh, fairly dense. It feels more dense on the skin than when I kind of play around with it. Yeah. So here is the bronzer. Here's my face without for some comparison there. So it did a nice uh, job warming up. It's definitely not too heavy. I think this is actually great for this time of year when I'm not terribly tan. So I think, I know there are a couple shades available um, and I think I got the lightest. It's called Blonde, but I think there's like maybe three shades available. And I think I picked, I think I picked pretty well, you know, it's always hard to tell online, but this definitely looks like true to what I saw on the site. I do hope they come out with some blushes soon. I would imagine that's probably next on their list. Blushes or lip glosses but there is the bronzer in blonde. Let me see if I can give you a swatch that would, <laughs> that would help at all. So it's more of a matte, but it has a very like soft appearance to it. It doesn't look flat at all. It's almost like, like a demi matte. And the formula, it actually feels very, very like creamy and soft. It's really, really beautiful. Very easy to blend. All right, well that is the bronzer that I got. Let's move over to the highlight. So the highlight that I got, I think it's just called La Lumiere. I think there was only one. Anyway, this is La Lumiere, quite beautiful. Let me do a swatch. Ooh, that's really pretty. It has like a really sparkly effect, but I don't actually see any micro glitters. It just seems to have like kind of built into the finish, like this kind of sparkliness to it. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Okay, let me go ahead and grab a different brush. The other two brushes I picked up are eyeshadow brushes <clears throat> and this one, <clears throat> sorry, my voice. Um, and I just use this for bronzer. So let me find a different brush to apply the highlight. Let's see. I'm gonna use my Sonia G, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna use my Sonia G face two brush. Ooh, wow, that is bright. That is a very, very bright highlight. I'm gonna take it a little easy. Just kind of pat it on. And then I'm gonna grab my Sonia G Smooth Buffer, and kind of buff that in. I really like the formula of this. It, it doesn't like feel like it has a lot of silicones in there. It doesn't feel too thick. So it's really easy to buff out and it's really easy to sheer out a little bit. So I put a lot less on this side of my cheek and then after buffing it out, I think you get like a very beautiful kind of a soft glossy kind of finish. This side I definitely put a lot more on. You can see it's like much brighter, much whiter, but I do think uh, this highlight is great for my skin tone. I think it works really beautifully. Yeah, it's really nice. It's not too thick of a formula and it's not too thin, you know? So I'm just gonna quick do my eyebrows and I'll be right back to play with the two quads that I purchased. All right, so this is one of the quads that I got, and I will definitely list down below which quad is which, because now that I've taken it out of the packaging, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what their names are. Uh, so this one has like a little bit more of a purpley mauve tone to it. 
and it looks like all of the shadows in here have the same finish. They all look like they have a little bit of a satin finish. And then here is the other quad that I picked up. So there are the four shades. Ooh, that looks so beautiful. And as soon as I opened this one up, it just reminded me of one of my favorite Tom Ford quads, which is the Double Indemnity. And that is this one right here. So let's do some quick comparison swatches of these two quads. So here are the Tom Ford shades. And uh, let me do it on top. I'm gonna do one of each on top. So that one's a little bit less pink than the Labouche Rouge. Those two are similar. The Tom Ford's a little bit lighter. Very similar there. And then the Tom Ford one for this last deep shade is very, very micro glittery versus this satin shade in La Bouche Rouge. But these colors are very, very similar. So I do feel like that one is like a little bit more evening, probably because it has that deep kind of charcoal color, that gun smoke color at the end. So I think what I will do is use the first quad that I swatched for you. This seems just a little bit more daytime and I'm gonna whip out the two eyeshadow brushes that I got. Again, all in French, <laughs> so uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I think one is like a small blender and one is like a big blender if I remember correctly, yeah. So here are the two brushes. So we have a bigger blender and a smaller blender. And again, with the uh, like one handle ferrule design. So I'm going to start with, um, yeah, I'm going to start with the bigger blender brush and I'm going to go into the second shade here. And this brush fits like widthwise right into the pan, like it covers one uh, shadow. And I'm just going to brush this all over the lid. Ooh, really beautiful. Oh, that's really beautiful. Applies nicely. It's kind of like the highlight, like it's not too thick of a formula, but there definitely is a little bit of creaminess to it. It makes the blending really easy and no fallout, which is really great. I'm just putting a little bit more on to see how buildable it is. Oh yeah. They really go on like quite nicely, no fallout. Uh, they're not too powdery. They're not too creamy. Really, really nice formula. Okay, I'm going to move over to the smaller brush and I'm going to go into the deepest shade over here and just add that. Oh, nice. Wow, a lot of pigmentation there. I just dipped the brush in once. Actually, let me take, <laughs> let me take the bigger brush and blend that out a little bit. Wow, blends out beautifully. Whew. Wow, I have to say, these shadows, super, super beginner friendly. I think if you are not confident in like what shades to use where or like blending or whatever, these are really, really great. These went on so easily and they blended in together so easily, so like smoothly and effortlessly. Wow, very, very nice. I'm gonna take the lightest shade here and just add that to my inner corner. Super bright. Wow, I love this eye look. Absolutely love it. All right, I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look. On my lips, I actually have a La Bouche Rouge color on here and this was sent to me by a subscriber, so thank you so much. But this is the Knight's Bridge Nude and this was like a limited edition color and if it's still available, I'll link it down below. But I just love it because it's, it's peachy, but it's not too orange, you know? It has like a nice kind of like rosiness to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in tomorrow's Mishmas video. Bye.